Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So last time we implemented this uh, wind wave function for our grass and as you can see here this uh, grass uh, wind wave the lines that represent wind waves are straight. So it does not look realistic so this time i'm going to show you how to give some variation to these uh, lines or wind the waves that represent wind so that there are no direct lines like this instead we will have some kind of a wave like this as seen in this video so okay let's get started i'll put this project aside and here I'll open the so this is my master leaves material leaves M leaves master and here this part is what makes up this uh, illusion of wind wave so again if you are not sure about how did we came up with this you can refer to my previous videos and uh, okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some noise into this wind. So for that first I'm going to take an output from this and I'll divide it with some parameter. I'll call this noise. So, yeah, this is uh, this is more like what we did here. So I'll call it noise width no i leave it like noise so and actually i think we should do this in our experiment material which is this one so you can clearly see the effect okay so let's open this material and here this is the wave part I'll take a line here and I'll promote this to a parameter and call it noise and then I'm gonna feed this into a sign because with the sine wave we can get a sinusoidal function a sinusoidal output according to this input and then I'm gonna do an F mod as we did here so that we would have always have some value in between this noise zero and this noise level so I'll set this value to something like 300 actually I'm not sure which value to put so I'll let's experiment it okay and then I'm gonna divide this actually I don't have to divide this because this sign always gives me something in between 0 and 1 okay so I'll multiply this sign value with uh, this same thing because I need uh, our noise value to be something bigger than 0 and 1 so that we will have some visible noise okay so then uh, I'll add this uh, output of output here we get here into Where should I put it? 
I think I should put it here before not here here before dividing by wave width let's see actually I'm not sure but let's see okay now I'll apply this and go here to see what happens okay so we got this wave like lines now instead of the straight line so let's uh, try increasing our wave width this noise into something like let's try 20 okay now it has become a little smaller so let's make it something like 200 instead okay now the wave is much bigger and yeah and let's change the other parameter as well this one let's put this one into 200 okay so now we got much bigger waves right so I think this would do so let's put this uh, let's do the same thing into our leaves material so yeah this part I'll copy this part and go to my M leaves master material here and I'll do an addition here like this and plug this one here and get the output from this one okay and yeah I think that's all let's wait until the shader is compiled so okay so right so we got this waves but still they look pretty straight to me maybe we should change the parameter values like wave width let's go back here and I'll make this 300 now actually I'll do it in this uh, grass material instance where is the noise here so I'll put this 300 instead and yeah now we don't see clear lines as we did before ah uh, yeah so we can see this these lines from this side okay so I think maybe we should increase the other parameters as well bear with I put something like thousand and maybe I think I should decrease the noise a little bit let's try 200 okay so yeah okay now we got this okay now we got this uh, instead of a straight line we have some sign like waves and to see this effect clearly I'll increase the wind speed or the wave speed a little bit so yeah 
as you can see here now we got this uh, wind waves and it's not straight anymore okay so but uh, as you can see this still does not look very realistic it has some color issues and some other problems as well and okay but the, for this episode this is all I'm going to do and in the future episodes uh, let's work on other parts as well how to refine this wind and also I hope to do some physical uh, some changes to show this wave behavior by doing some physical offset to this uh, grass meshes okay see you in the next video goodbye